The Dare County School Board reversed course tonight in a heated meeting with parents. After voting earlier to make masks optional, face coverings now will be required for students inside buildings. The school division has more than 400 students in quarantine. Sarah Hammond was at tonight's meeting. When Dare County students went back to class last week, masks were optional. But Dr. Daniel Dwyer, chief of staff at the Outer Banks Hospital, sounded an alarm telling the school board in an email, quote, we are in a crisis. Dr. Dwyer's concerns were not lost on the board during Wednesday's special called meeting. It's been increasing numbers of COVID infections since we opened school. On Wednesday, the board said only 45% of students were wearing their masks. 400 students are currently in quarantine compared to 79 when school first started. How are keeping school? With that information in hand, the board voted 7 to 0 to require masks indoors. That decision made some parents unhappy. Other parents were upset they did not get a chance to address the board before they voted and were escorted out after making their frustrations known from the crowd. The board members agreed they hope cases will start to go back down and universal masking won't be something that has to stay in place for long. We can pray that we will be well, in the yellow phase, transmission rates have come down, and that's when there's a recommendation for districts to consider um, not having universal masking. The new mask mandate takes effect Thursday, September 2nd, and the board also voted to reopen virtual enrollment until the 6th, so parents and students can decide if they want to make any changes to how they're learning based on this new policy. In Dare County, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. The issue is sure to come up again. The law in North Carolina says school boards that require masks must vote monthly on whether to continue the policy.